everyone it is princess underscore mini four and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today you guys i am filming a video pretty much showing all of my foods that i bought for college so i do have a meal plan but i plan on only using my meal plan for lunch and dinner so i'm gonna provide my own breakfast and snack just because why not and i'm really picky with what i like to eat so we actually just did a whole big old shopping today. Oh, that's underwear, that's not important. But I'm gonna try to do it by meal. So I'm gonna start with breakfast. So if you've ever watched my what I eat in the day, y'all know I love me some instant grits. So it's Quaker instant grits and this is the butter flavored. So I'm trying not to like bring more cheese with me I'm trying not to have that much stuff to bring with me so that's one and it comes with 22 then I got this one that is actually cheddar cheese flavored and it comes with 22 as well so these pretty much got me for the whole semester because that's 44 things of grits and I plan on only eating them on like Monday Wednesdays and Fridays on the days I don't have classes because on Tuesdays and Thursdays I got to get up at like 6 30 so I'm just going to grab me a cup of coffee and just go ahead so yeah, so that's my first thing for breakfast. So that's my, pretty much like I said, the days that I stay home. I also purchased me a salt and pepper because you know I like putting salt and pepper on my grits. So yeah, so I did that so I don't have to buy cheese. And then so for my coffee days, I have this Duncan Original Blend uh, Medium Roast Ground Coffee. So that's one. Then you know it's my favorite time of year. So they got Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice. And then I also have Dunkin', I mean Starbucks Pumpkin Spice. So these are the ground coffees that I can put in my Mr. Coffee Maker. And there'll be a video up on that soon. So that's my coffees. And then also, so on the days, cause my Mr. Coffee is either hot or iced coffee. So on the days I want the hot coffee, I'm going to use this Nestle Coffee Mate Original Creamer, the dry creamer. And then on the days I want my iced coffee, I'm going to use, the, I got International Delight White Chocolate Raspberry Creamer. So that's for the, my days when I want my iced coffee. And then, so that one's going to be when I do just the regular Original Blend Coffee. But if I do my pumpkin spice coffee, I'm gonna use this. This is Nestle Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Sweet Cream. So I was trying to look up like what creamers go good with pumpkin spice creamer. I mean pumpkin spice coffee. So that's what they said. So I'm going to do that. Then also with my coffee, I had this Ghirardelli Premium Sauce Chocolate. And you know how those TikTok people be doing it. So I wanna do it like them. And I also got caramel. So y'all gonna see a video up about how I make my coffee here pretty soon. So pretty much that is everything for breakfast. Oh wait, hold on. I almost forgot one important thing. So we got the uh, Domino Premium Pure Cane Sugar Packet. So there's 100 sugar packets in here. And this is for when I have my hot coffee, my iced coffee. Since I got the creamer, I don't need to put sugar in it because that's kind of the point of it. So, this is for when I have my hot coffee. And yeah, so that is pretty much all for breakfast. That bag is so heavy. So now I want to do snacks. So, um, I'm just going to start with these. So, I have these Pirate's Booty Aged White Cheddar Rice and Corn Puffs. So these are supposed to be healthier for you because it says baked, not fried and no artificial colors or preservatives. So this is like, this bag is pretty much your entire snack. I did not really think with this small, but. So I'm gonna start off with bringing four of these. So I plan on maybe only having sweet on like Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then obviously the other five days of the week, I'll have these type of snacks. So I got these Uts braided honey wheat twist pretzels. These are really, really good. So I'm gonna have this as well. Then I also got these Trader Joe Kettle Cooked Potato Chips. 
and they're gluten free it says 50 percent less fat and sodium which is good so that's that then i also got and i packed these stuff according to um you know when they would go bad pretty much because those pretzels actually go bad on the fifth but they ain't never been open so we we all good but anyway so then we got these Cheeto, Cheeto puffs. Y'all know what Cheeto puffs are. I was just craving these and I ain't had them in a long time. So good. And I don't even know if I'm gonna bring all these at first because I am coming home mostly every weekend. So it's like, I may not bring them all at first. But I do want to bring the ones that go bad the sooner, soonest first, pretty much. So hold on. So another thing I kind of got, that could either be my breakfast or my snack are these Nature Valley, Nature Valley soft baked muffin bars. And I had tried these for the first time the other day and they are so good. So these is, it says made with whole grain. This is the chocolate chip kind. And then there's 10 bars in there. And it says, it's only, not only, but it's eight grams of added sugar, which my bariatric doctor say they prefer you to have stuff that has 10 grams of added sugar or less. So this has eight. So I really like these. Um, so that's one. I got three of them. So I wanted to try this this one. It's Nature Value uh, Soft Baked Muffin Bar. This is apple cinnamon. And it says made with real fruit and whole grain. So I used to like the apple cinnamon oatmeal a lot. So I'm assuming I would probably like this too. Um, and it's the same. This is actually six grams of added sugar. Okay. Then. So this is not the same thing. Hold on. I'll show y'all that too though. Um, so this is the blueberry kind. So I've had both the blueberry and the chocolate chip. I've also had the lemon poppy. I wasn't a big fan of that. But I do like the blueberry and the chocolate chip. So I'm excited to try the apple cinnamon. So this is the blueberry one. So um, I hope they don't go bad that soon. But oh yeah, March next year. So this one has seven grams of added sugar, but these are really good and they're not like the worst for you. And they say that they're all made with whole grain and real fruit, so. But that's if I like, I said, if I feel like I don't really want to have coffee or grits, if I got like, you know, sometimes I eat a lot of the same foods, I get tired of it. So I got more options right there. This is actually something I brought for here because we have a Kerrig here. So me and my dad back in the day, used to go to a 7-Eleven and get blueberry coffee, but 7-Eleven doesn't sell like their coffees in Kerrig. Now maybe they will one day, but they don't do it yet. So, but this is New England coffee, blueberry cobbler. I love blueberry coffee. So I love blueberry flavored everything except for blueberries. So I know I'm weird, but that's that. Oh, uh, I can just put that somewhere because that's not coming with me. Then neither is this stuff. So now when it comes to snacks again, so we have these Skippy Peanut Butter Bites, double peanut butter. So it has five grams of protein, uh, eight grams of added sugar, and yeah, pretty much. So this is little peanut butter bites. Yeah, I mean, these are good. I've had them a long time ago, but. So next up, I wanted to try these. And then fun fact, I was going to try these. And I'm on this like bariatric uh, group page on Facebook. And they were saying how you shouldn't eat these because they give you the runs. But you know, everybody's body is different. But I still wanted to try these because they're zero sugar. But the thing that they said is the sugar alcohol that has 14 grams of that. They said that's what gives people the run. So if I try it and it gives me the runs, then I just won't eat them again. But I really have been loving uh, dark chocolate lately. So this is the Hershey's Special Dark Zero Sugar Candy Bar. I'm trying to stay away from a lot of sugar, especially since, like I said, my cholesterol went back up. So I'm trying to stay away from a lot of sugar. That's why I got all these other healthier snacks. So they say that sometimes, well, I guess always, that carbs turn into sugar. I don't really know. But also in that uh, bariatric thing, they were talking about they're telling you to not get that, but to get these. So this is Lily's Less Sugar Sweet Life Chocolate Bars. So this is extra dark and it's called extra dark chocolate. So that's this one. It has 
no added sugar with no sugar at all no added sugar no sugar alcohol none of that so and it's actually gluten free but i'm not you know i don't have gluten problems and then i also got because they had like a caramel one i'm i'm starting to like caramel but not like enough that i would get a chocolate you know like a bar of just caramel so so this is cookies and cream white chocolate styles i just wanted to try these since they were saying that they're actually you know better for you and they said they still taste good so we'll see because my taste buds are a little different and while we're talking about chocolate i actually went and grabbed these out of the refrigerator so i have these enjoy life chocolate bar so this is dark chocolate this is actually the ones that my doctors recommended which is crazy because it has 13 grams of added sugar but these are the ones that they recommended so i got two dark because these are my favorite but i've had both the rice milk one and yeah but these are actually pretty good and they don't taste like they're healthy you know a lot of stuff in the, it tastes fake this one actually really doesn't taste anything different and they're actually supposed to be their it says it's free from wheat, peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, casein, soy, egg, sesame, mustard, lupin, added sulfates, fish, selfish, and crushed the oceans. I don't know what that is, but they're supposed to be like all natural, none of that stuff. Like no dairy, no blah, blah, blah. So it's good for people that have allergies and stuff like that. Because they're actually in the gluten-free aisle of Walmart. I don't know anywhere else though. But, so these aren't too healthy y'all, but I'm gonna start this thing called mindful eating. I gotta look more into it. But for me, mindful eating means you know what you're supposed to eat, you know what you're not supposed to eat, but you can do it sometimes as long as you don't go overboard. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. Cause I feel like once you say you're on a diet, everything changes. So these are Kit Kat pumpkin pies. Never had them before, so I just wanted to try them. And like I said, I'm gonna live my life regardless. And like I said, life is short, I could die tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna have fun today. So, I lost my weight and I haven't gained any of it back. So, this is pumpkin pie. Y'all know I really love, but y'all don't know, I'm telling y'all, I really love pumpkin pie, everything except for actual pumpkin pie. I know I'm weird. So, next up, oh, that's for my grandma. So, just in case I'm down there and I have like a sweet tooth, so Lily's also has sour gummy worms. So, it says it has less than one gram of sugar, but has no added sugar. It has lemon, raspberry, and apple peach. So it's like actual real fruit gummy worms. <laughs> yeah. And I keep seeing these. So it's called Smart Sweet. So these are sour melon bites. And they only have two grams of sugar and they're not even added sugar. That's just like natural sugar. So, and it, said it has no sugar alcohol and it's supposed to be vegan. Which I'm not vegan and I don't think I'll ever go vegan. I don't want to be sick. But yeah. Just in case I have a sweet tooth. Like I said, all this stuff is not going to come with me the first time. Because I got too much stuff to bring. Which fun fact. I don't know when this video is going to go up. But probably by the time this video goes up. I already have spent like a week there. Which is crazy. So. Two more things. I got to start putting this stuff in the refrigerator. But um. So these are Oreo Thin. So this is the, uh, what they call it. I keep on forgetting. I say vanilla, but they have a name for them. Golden. I think these are the Golden Oreos. So these are Oreo Thins. I used to eat these back in the day when I was like uh, counting my calories. Because if you don't know this, you can have two Oreos from like the regular size ones. But you can have four Oreo Thins. So when you're counting your calories, you're like, I can have four of them. So I got these. Like I said, everything's not going to come right away. Because I'm pretty much coming home every weekend because I have appointments every week. Y'all know I'm always at appointments. Y'all know. So, and none of my appointments are down there, obviously. And then we got this Chips Ahoy Thins. So it says Chips Ahoy Thin and Crispy Thins Original. So these are just the regular chocolate chip cookies, just really thin. So, yeah. Um, I gotta find where to put it. So I am pretty much done everything for school. The only thing I do want to get is a straw cleaner because I have a straw cleaner here, but I need a straw cleaner when I'm at university so I can uh, clean my straw to my coffee maker thing, you know. But I can just order that. But look at this, y'all. I said it's my it's my it's my year. So this is 
tasty cake baked pumpkin pie i probably won't like it but you know what i want to try it it has 17 grams of added sugar but that's that and the last thing which i already know i use benefiber every single day i use four i cut up four of these in my 64 ounce of water y'all know i've been drinking 64 ounces of water since september of last year and i probably missed like one day even when i went down to like the boardwalk and stuff like that i still drank my water you know it's just like and i've also been like training my bladder so before i remember i was worried about drinking a lot of water because i was like oh my god i'm gonna be peeing all the time but then i started training my bladder thanks to tiktok y'all tiktok's not all bad i follow this person it's like a pelvic doctor and she was telling like about training your bladder you know so i can like hold it for like six seven hours now even after drinking a whole bunch of water it's probably not the best but it's helpful when it comes to that yeah, I got a Slurpee. It's a medium, it's okay. But anyway, that's plus that's my dinner. But these are my Benefiber Prebiotic Fiber Supplement on the go. So they're on the go ones because yeah, it's just easier just to snip it and put it in your water. So it's clear and taste free. So fun fact about weight loss surgery, a lot of people who have weight loss surgery always have problems with their bowels. And I'm a person that did before weight loss surgery. So I just keep these, take them all the time just to keep me regular. Every now and then I will need to use like a stool softener, but I try to use these first because I drink them every day. So, but pretty much that is it. Cause the rest of this stuff is like fruit and stuff. And it ain't got nothing to do with this video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell know when I post. And share this video with your friends. And please make sure you watch all my videos in my University Life playlist. And yeah, guys, this is the last video before my move-in video. And yeah, I'll be down in university. Bye, guys.